Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering AWS reInvent 2017. Presented by AWS, Intel, and our ecosystem of partners. And we are back here in Las Vegas, where the weather's really nice, by the way, like 65 and sunny. Uh, but uh, you talk about sunshine, this show floor is just emanating that from the AWS perspective. Almost 50,000 people here jammed in, the booths are chock full with a lot of, uh, a lot of interest, and I think it really speaks uh, highly of this excitement and the vibrancy of the AWS community. Here we are at reInvent along with Keith Townsend. I'm John Walls. We're now joined by Russ Curry, who's the VP of Enterprise Strategy at NetScout Systems. Russ, good to see you. Nice to see you Welcome guys. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure to be here. Great, well, first off, tell us a little bit about NetScout, uh, about what you all do and why you're here. So NetScout Systems is a very established company. We're very uh, present in most of the Fortune 500 in terms of running their on-prem environment and built around looking at wire data as providing a unique perspective into the services that IT delivers. Uh, recently, we've started to expand our portfolio to become much more relevant to the cloud environment and this is our first trip into the AWS show actually, so it's a lot of fun to be here. Well, tell us about that shift then for you. I mean, what did you see that said, okay, this is the move that makes sense, and then what have you had to do to, I wouldn't say catch up, but to get the kind of expertise in an area in which you weren't really playing with it before? It's, it was very interesting because one of the things that we saw is that our customers were really moving to a hybrid environment. It was really the extension of a lot of their service to leverage what was available in terms of what I, uh, AWS may provide them in terms of infrastructure as a server perhaps, a service perhaps, or virtual private cloud technologies. And what they were really doing was migrating a lot of the data center front end to the cloud. So in turn, they wanted that same level of, visib of visibility that they have with us in the on-prem environment. So what we did is we disaggregated our system and started to provide a software solution that could migrate easily to the cloud, whether it be an on-prem implementation of a software-defined network or a public implementation of AWS. So, Russ, talk to me a little bit about that. I'm a traditional enterprise guy. NetScout, go, NetScout goes back years with uh, wire data, I, from appliances to software to help me analyze data. I can take those tools, virtualize them, put them in the cloud, and now they just don't give me as much insight because I don't have control of the infrastructure. Talk to me about those early conversations as customers started to come with you guys for ask of capabilities. What were some of the initial pain points in the cloud? Well, I think that was, you, you hit on a very interesting point because you don't own that infrastructure any longer. So what can you really grab out of the cloud to be able to provide the visibility into these uh, services? And with that also, they were becoming much more complicated. Uh, folks implementing microservices and starting to have great uh, complexity in the environment that they're deploying there. So what they really wanted us to do is provide that same level of understanding, like the key performance indicators that are associated with user experience. So are the users getting the uh, expected service levels? Are they getting the responsiveness out of the application uh, that they expect? And if not, how do I track that down and identify where that problem exists? I moved up my complexity by maybe factors of 10 as I move into a hybrid environment. So let's talk about some of those complexities. In a traditional environment, if I could see transaction time slowing down, I can just turn the knob up on my infrastructure, buy a bigger server, buy a bigger switch, uh, go with different cabling aspect, very, very prescriptive uh, solutions. What are some of the insights you're bringing to customers to help them easily manage or less painfully manage those similar knobs in the cloud. How, what are those KPIs and what do they help, help it give insight into? Well, I think it's, it's very interesting because that's one of the things that's a little bit easier to happen in the cloud in terms of the speed at which I can turn those knobs up, right? Now I can start to go ahead and dial up and provide more and more computes real easily. I have elastic computing capabilities that exist inside the cloud. But with that comes the question, do I have the controls to understand what I'm doing there and am I maybe spending too much in terms of uh, putting that forward and turning up the volume, if you will, as you were saying. The, uh, the aspect of being on the on-prem, the old environment was more that I had to plan for it. I had to keep in mind, I had to build for a future environment, so I couldn't do it as quickly. So now the question is, is the business 
really getting what they're paying for as they move this forward. And their concern is that they lose that visibility into am I really getting the services I need when I start to turn this up in the cloud? And, and are those the questions they're bringing to you? I mean, so, yes. I mean, because Keith was just talking about what you're taking to the community. So what's the community coming to you with then? And I, you mentioned costs, right? All of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, I mean, we had this great resource, we didn't know it was going to cost this. So they've got to kind of get their arms around that a little bit too, don't they? Right, they want to contain the costs, they want to make sure that they're making sound business decisions, uh, and they want to increase the speed at which they can roll out new services. Um, and they, as digital transformation's really kind of driving the velocity of business to speeds that we never expected. Well, the velocity of IT really isn't keeping up with them, and that's one of the challenges that they have. And a lot of that's a lack of visibility. If you're used to uh, driving a car at night you've, uh, and you drive fast, you got this concept of out driving your lights, where you're going a little bit faster than what you can see in front of you, and you run the risk of maybe running into a turn or a stone wall or deer, whatever the case may be, right? A lot of our organizations are afraid of that happening to them. That they're going to be going so fast as they move themselves into these environments that they're going to hit and have a, a failure that's going to be catastrophic for them. So the idea that I don't have visibility is a real challenge. So on that model of cost, let's talk about Nescout's business model a little bit. Previous business model, I understood. I bought a box or software licenses and I own that. Cloud really doesn't lend itself to that buy software model and own it forever. How do you guys, how do I buy a hybrid IT solution now from Netscout? So today what we're doing is moving, we well, provide our solution in a bring your own license type of environment. So they buy license capabilities from us and then move it over in. But one of the unique things that we did with our implementation of a technology we call vScout is we actually make the agent, that technology, free to deploy on workloads. And it only consumes in our analytics engine in Genius One. So it can be freely distributed and only turned on where you need it or when you want it. So it really provides a lot of flexibility for our customers in terms of having the same type of visibility and workflows regardless of being on-prem, private cloud or public cloud, and that's really the big advantage that they're seeing as they can move to a software model with us. So, if three days from now, when you walk away from the show like this, you said first time here. Yes. Um, what, what do you want to get out of this? I mean, what, what's your goal in terms of when you walk out of here on Thursday or whatever, that it's okay, that was a good uh, dive into the deep end? So I think for us it's really exposing ourselves to a new audience. A lot of the folks here aren't terribly familiar with who we are and what we do. Uh, traditionally, we spoke to the network guys, and the network guys, they're starting to get displaced a little bit by, uh, you look at VMware, the implementation of uh, NSX, and where that's going in terms of providing micro-segmentation. So networking is really being provided by the VMware admins oftentimes, and now with VMware on AWS, now you've got an extensible environment that allows you to have that same kind of compute environment all the way through in that level of control. So what I really want to do is end up talking to new audiences and having conversations that are a little bit different than, you know, how much capacity do I have on a 10 gig link and what kind of applications are running on it. It's really about what kind of services am I delivering to my user community, what are my plans and how can I ensure success. Well, from the looks of things, you got a few people to talk to, Russ. I think so, there's think a few. <laughs> <laughs> Russ Curry, joining us from Netscout Systems. Thanks for being with us, Russ. Good to see you on theCUBE. Thanks for uh, spending time with us. Thank you very much. It was really a pleasure. Enjoyed it immensely. All right, good luck with the rest of the show. Super. Back with more from reInvent. We're in Las Vegas live here on theCUBE. Back with more in just a bit.